Hey everyone, and welcome to the Google Mass Blog Creator video tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna go through the software fast for those people who've got experience with our software, so you can just see uh, the few small differences between this and the site creator. And then after that, I'll go into a more in-depth video tutorial about each step. Okay, so let's get into it. So, we'll just use an existing project. On this window, there are three parts. We've got the browse button to select a template. Now that template is the default HTML template for the blogger blogs. I'll go into that in a later part of this video. Typically, I just use the default blog template and it works fine. When you're creating a new project, leave it on red continue project. Now, if you've already created a project, you can repeat that project by clicking on this button and it will just create that entire project one more time but and then a whole new set of unique custom SEO optimized blogs will be created based on the same keywords or you can just swap out those keywords use the same project setting change the keywords and it will create another set of blogs but focusing on those new keywords you've added so I'll go repeat project here is where you enter your keyword phrases so do I keywords just paste them in there, control V. Now you'll see we've got SEO services is the main term. Then we've got the location and the suburb and the city. Now to see why we use keywords like that in that fashion, like the longer tail terms, I encourage you to watch this video that's on the main sales page. The second video down new unannounced feature I go into depth about how we use or why we use those longer tail variants and the benefits you get from doing it exactly that way so that's all pretty simple on this page here you add your article content Now here's a Forbes article about SEO content. Now of course, writing your own original SEO content is the best. But if you're short on time, or you just want to prove the technology we have here, you can grab content like this, copy, control A, delete, control V, paste and then click on the make spin tax button there you go now up the top here these are the words that you protect so they're not spun in the article below too easy so then you test and you can see the different variations of your article every time the blog creates a new blog post or blog it will supply a different variation of this content that we have here. Too easy. That is exactly what I've done for all the testing I've done with the site generator software and this blogger software. And the results, the amazing results we're getting in Google are using articles from other SEO websites using our spin tax technology. Too easy. So you click next. Now here is where you can add any HTML in the software and that will be produced at the bottom of the article actually below the Google Maps on your blog. In this section section you can add HTML and it also uses spin tax. In the forum we have a HTML video tutorial and we have a spin tax video tutorial so check them out if you need help with uh, spin tax and HTML. This is also a great place to put uh, free counter codes you can just search in Google for free counter and then what that does it shows you which blogs are sending the most traffic etc some people will be using these blogs for personal blog networks you can enter your links in this section here to send links to your web 2 properties or to the websites to your money sites then click next now on this page you've got two options create blogs or create one blog with posts when you select create blogs 
it creates one blog. So when creating blogs, you can select your Google accounts here and click them over. Say you want to, typically it creates one blog using your keyword and then it creates a post on that blog using that same keyword. If you put in five keywords and five accounts, that will be one account per blog. Now, if you wanted to create 10, if you enter 10 keywords and five Google accounts, it will create two blogs on each account that you supply. So if you wanted 100 account, if you entered 100 keywords and 10 blogs, it will create, it will create 10 blogs per Google account that you, that you put on the right over here. If you want to get rid of it, just go back. And if you right click, you can delete Google accounts that you've entered. To add Google accounts, enter the Gmail there and enter the password there. Click on add new account and will pop up in this section here. Now when you create posts, it only uses one Google account, so you select the Google account and then it will create one post per keyword that you enter. Typically, I, like, I don't like to do any over any more than 30 keywords per individual blog. Now what's really important is with a Google account, there is a limit of 100 blogs per Google account. So here you can theoretically just load up as many accounts as you like and then figure out how many posts you want per blog and then times that by the amount of accounts and put that in the keywords in the next section. On this window we have, this is the folder where you get the images that will be presented on your blog. So these are the images I use. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Every time it creates a new blog, it will select one of those images randomly. Now, if I select a folder that just has one image in it, it will use that same image every time. So just click on an image to select that folder. On each of our blogs, we have Google Maps, as you know. So you can put the exact location of a local business if you're promoting it. Or, this, or a location like I have, Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia, and then that map will be presented on the Google blog. The main site URL, that gives you the opportunity to put any site you need links to in the software easily. In the YouTube URL section, if you have one video link there, that one video will be embedded on every blog that's created. If you put a list of them there, the software will choose one of those randomly each time it creates a new blog. Too easy. And that's it. You click on start. The software goes out, creates all the blogs for you, and then at the end, it creates a beautiful PDF like this. Now, what's different with this PDF to our previous software is if you click on... These are hyperlinks to Google with that keyword phrase. So it makes it easy to search for your stuff. There you go, number one, two, three. Additionally, we supply all the links to each of the blogs and blog posts created, plus the XML or RSS feed links. Me, I just go Control A, copy, save to a text file. And now here's a pro tip. Once the software has uploaded your PDF to, after the PDF is presented, another button will pop up and say, would you like to upload this PDF to drive.google.com? Of course, you say yes. It creates a folder with the first keyword presented in the list as the folder name, so you get a relevant link back. It sets it to public, and then here's where the pro tip comes in press control v here and it will paste the link to the public link in your google drive then what i like to do is i go to peterdrew.net forward slash ping services i go to mass ping 
then I paste all those URLs in there plus the the link from drive.google.com put my keyword in there and then I ping all of those and that just helps speed up the indexing process so there you have it now in part two of this video tutorial I will go more in depth into all of these stages thanks for watching see you in the next video